guys and welcome to my 200 subscriber special finally getting it out I was going to get out on Wednesday but I've unfortunately uh, have a broken mic uh, recording problems and all that jazz so I haven't been able to get anything out to you guys lately but I'm using my phone to record this that's why the audio sounds a bit different but who cares it works it doesn't sound half bad and I'm getting your video out so don't complain uh, <laughs> so the first question I'm going to go on to before uh, I get on to the first question actually is I'm going to say sorry if I get anybody's names wrong uh, if I do then it's because I'm terrible at pronouncing names simple as <laughs> I'm an idiot <laughs> so uh, the first question is from Jake Holstad 01 and he said what's your name and can you try out the Hexix, uh, Hexit it's a mod pack please try it out um, to, so the answers to your question is, is my name is Adam uh, I'm not going to say my full name my name is just Adam uh, and uh, can you try the Hexit uh, mod pack? Uh, no, I can't because I don't play Minecraft. The game that's actually playing in the uh, video there is actually a game called Cube Wild, which is just been released. Um, it's actually been made from some indie developers who have um, been working on this game for a couple years now. Um, their inspiration did come from Minecraft. That kind of is why it's made that way. Um, but yeah, it's a really good game. Um, so check it out. If I were you, it's a great game. Uh, so then the next question is from R Y C G nineteen sixty seven, and he asked me, "What's my favorite food?" My favorite food is ribs. I love ribs, and I just knocked my table, so that's probably what that bang noise was. Um, but yeah, my favorite food is ribs. Um, absolutely love ribs with a sweet barbecue sauce. Mmm, girl, that's tasty. Uh, I'm a big barbecue fan in general, and uh, yeah. It's, it's a tasty. It's just a very tasty. Uh, so the next question, or questions, should I say, um, is from Epic Flowerable. Uh, she slash he, I don't know, <laughs> says um, has like four different questions for me. Uh, so I'm going to go for each one and uh, answer them, obviously. So how did you get into Pokemon is the first question. Uh, I got into Pokemon uh, basically on my, I can't remember which birthday it was, but it was like my 7th or 8th birthday. Um, I got a package through the post, got told to go get it, and it was basically a uh, package with Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Gold in it. And um, basically I started playing Pokemon Gold as my first game, and I played that for God knows how long. I absolutely loved that game so much, it was ridiculous. I would play it every morning before school and every evening after school because I had no life. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I got into Pokemon basically is I uh, got it from my birthday one time and I enjoyed it. Plus I was already a big fan of the anime anyway so that's probably why I got it from my birthday. Uh, so the second question is how did I get into YouTube? Um, well I've been into YouTube for a while now. Um, I've had a few other channels doing different things um, but uh, recently I have just kind of got back into Pokemon and I was like hey why don't I make a channel where I uh, do gameplay videos of Pokemon. I, I watch it all the time, I enjoy it, so why don't I make content for people to watch and enjoy. Um, that's basically the reason why I got into YouTube. Uh, plus my buddy Lee4534, who you've probably seen in a couple of my videos, uh, was into it and uh, he said yeah it was a good kind of thing to do. If you can get everything to go your way, <laughs> then it's a good time. But uh, yeah, so uh, the next question is, is, what are a few games that you play other than Pokemon? A few games um, are uh, Cube World is that game that you're seeing uh, in the gameplay video of the first video that I made for my 200 sub special. Uh, another game that I'm playing at the moment is GTA 4, uh, Castle Crushers, a couple other random games I've actually just got off um, the Steam sale because the Steam sale is absolutely crazy right now. Get loads of good games for real cheap prices. Um, so yeah, like if you if you haven't got Steam, trust me if you you're a PC game. Well, if you're a PC gamer and don't have Steam, that's a bit silly. But um, if you want to get into PC gaming, then that's a good place to start. Is when it's a summer sale and you want to get some cheap games. Uh, so the fourth question from Epic Flower Boy is, what are your hobbies? Um, my main hobby that I do all the time is rugby. I absolutely love the sport. Uh, been playing it for nine years now, and um, I, I train so many times a week, and it, it's just great, absolutely love it. Another one of my hobbies is BMX and I do stunts and tricks and stuff on uh, ramps and that, uh, which is another one of my hobbies I do every now and again. 
Uh, it's a good laugh, and uh, I'm not too bad at it. Uh, and obviously, gaming's another hobby. Uh, hanging out with friends, all that jazz. YouTube is a hobby, and uh, yeah, this is just great fun. I, I just enjoy doing stuff. Uh, so that's the end of Epic Travel question. So uh, we are going to <coughs> clear my throat there. Uh, Sky Cash. Uh, so Sky Cash asks, uh, when are you going to do a Draw My Life? Um, I'm probably going to do that for a larger video uh, when I get more subscribers, when more people want to know more about me. Uh, to relate to me, uh, so it probably won't be for a while, but if I do uh, do one then uh, well, you'll be here to know about it, so then say subscribe and <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what's my name? I've already answered that one. That's Adam. Uh, what's my favorite generation? Second gen because it was the first game I ever played uh, What is your favorite Pokemon from each region? I actually had to write this down because I'm terrible at remembering stuff. I, I do not off the top of my head, I just didn't want to like go, mm, I can't remember that. So I've got it all written down. So from Kanto, it's Gengar. Uh, from Johto, it's Ampharos. From Hoenn, it's Absol. Uh, from Sinnoh, it's Lucario. And Unova, it's Magnezone. So that's my favourite uh, Pokemon from each region. And my overall favourite Pokemon. You guys probably aren't going to believe this from my uh, channel mascot, but my favourite Pokemon is actually Ampharos. Uh, I absolutely love Ampharos, even over Gengar, uh, anytime. The reason why I put it around Gengar is because I had like a few awesome pictures of Gengar on my computer, and I, I do like the colour purple as well. Um, so, that's the reason why I went for Gengar. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ampharos is my favourite Pokemon, and yeah, it's just an awesome Pokemon. Uh, so, uh, the next question comes from Amongst the Bracken. Can I go ahead and what, uh, ask what you look like, or do you prefer to be a bit anonymous? At the moment, I do prefer to be a bit anonymous, but if I do decide to show myself, then I am going to be showing myself on this channel. Probably do some face cam videos if I decide to do anything uh, horror-based, I guess. So, it'll be funnier with reaction. Because uh, that's what I was originally going to do with Pokemon Lost Silver, which is my most viewed video at the moment, I think. And uh, I'm I kind of a bit gutted that I didn't now because I reckon it would have been a lot better video if I did because I did get scared in that twice uh, from the same goddamn thing. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm going to be anonymous for a bit now. So all you're going to know about me is that my name's Adam. I'm mysterious. <laughs> so uh, the next question is from Zekrom one two three P, and he asks, "What game is that you're playing?" Um, basically, the game that I'm playing is Cube I've already mentioned that made by indie developers. I'll whack a link in the description for that actually, uh, so you guys can check it out. I don't know if you can buy it at the moment because they were having problems with their servers a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I, it was like last week actually, but um, yeah. So check it out. See if you like it. If you do, play it. Super as. Uh, so, f I got uh, the next question is from Zapave. So he has asked me, "What is my favourite starters from each starting type?" So uh, this is one that I didn't write down, so I wouldn't stumble. So I'm gonna uh, say uh, you're gonna probably call me like a Gen One or a Gen Two or something like, or an early Gen or something for saying this. But um, my favourite fire type is uh, Cyndaquil. Uh, my favourite grass type is uh, Chikorita and my favourite water type is Squirrel. So, uh, yeah, they're all Larry Gens, but they are my favourites. I kind of played with them. They were the first uh, Pokemon that I ever played with, like, started with. Cyndaquil was my first ever starter. Um, Chikorita was the second playthrough that I played of uh, Pokemon Gold. And uh, Squirtle was my first Pokemon in uh, Pokemon Blue. So... Uh, yeah, that's the answer to that one there. Uh, the next question is from Parker Good. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, oh, wait. I thought I missed that question. No, I didn't. Uh, so yeah, from Parker Good. Uh, why are you so awesome? Three reasons for this. One, because it says it in my YouTube name. Two, because I'm awesome. Three, I like Pokemon. Uh, that's the reasons why I'm awesome. And, uh, and another question, a couple of questions actually from Parker Good. Um, are you playing X and Y when it comes out? Uh, is the first question. Yes, I will be if I can get hold of a, a Nintendo 3DS uh, for a good price. Because uh, I don't actually have overly too much money, I can just go willy, willy, uh, willy nilly and go buy myself one. So I can uh, play it at the moment as it stands. Uh, but when it does come out, I'm hoping to save up a little 
bit of pennies and get one off eBay, second hand one hopefully, and uh, yeah, play it off of that. Uh, so, uh, the next question he asks is, what is your favourite type? Um, my favourite type is actually um, ghost type. Uh, you might think, oh, he likes Ampharos, but he's a ghost type fan? Yeah, um, well, as I said, Gengar's one of my favourites. Uh, I like ghost type purely for the fact that they're, they're quite good in battle. I reckon, and uh, just like, half of them are just, they just look awesome, and oh, I just love ghost Pokemon, I think they're all cool, I don't think I know one ghost Pokemon that I don't like, um, so yeah, that's basically why ghost type is my favourite, and the last question from Parker Good is, what are your, uh, what, ooh, this is a big question, uh, for each type, what's your favourite Pokemon? Um, so this is the question that I'd write the most about. So I just flicked over my page there, and uh, basically I'm just going to go through it and say the name of the Pokemon that I uh, enjoy the most out of that type. So, um, Bug type is Scyther, Dark type is Umbreon, uh, Dragon type is Haxorus, uh, Electric type is Ampharos, Fighting type is Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee, I can't choose other two, you can't make me. <laughs> so Flying type is Pidgeot, Ghost type is Gengar, uh, Grass type is Meganium, uh, Ground type is Lavatar. Uh, ice type is Dugong, normal type is Snorlax, Poison is Nidoking, Psychic is Alakazam, uh, Rock type is Pseudo Wudo, uh, Steel type is Magnezone, and Water type is Squirrel. I know what you're saying about Magnezone, he's an electric type. He's part of Steel, bitches! Uh, so, uh, that's my answer to that question, Park. Good. Okay, so next question is from Crow Eater. Uh, Crow Eater is asked, uh, I met you through Leaf 4534, how did you two meet each other? Okay, so this is um, quite a long story, so I'm going to just cut it short. Uh, basically, I used to play a game called Haber Hotel, uh, and I met this guy called Tom. Me, uh, me and Tom got quite good friends, and then Tom introduced me to a couple of his friends on Skype, called uh, Tom, uh, uh, no, no, because my friend's called Tom, to, called Lee and Alex. So, um, we were friends for a while, and then um, Tom disappeared off the face of the earth, uh, and I don't think Lee has heard from him since, really, and he just kind of disappeared from a any kind of game that we played together. Um, and uh, their friend Alex uh, disappeared as well. Um, it was kind of, kind of a weird situation. But then, yeah, me and Lee have been friends ever since that. Um, thanks, uh, thankful to Tom for actually... Um, helping me gain a friend like Lee, because me and Lee are really good friends now, uh, we've known each other for six years, been to, uh, like, been to each other's houses, all this kind of jazz, uh, so we're, we're basically just really good friends now, and uh, yeah, it's kind of an awesome situation. Uh, so another question actually from Crow Eater is, uh, Matt suggested, um, uh, Matt is LZK Syndicate, uh, by the way, or Matters Boy, um, he's one of my friends that me and Lee talk to. Uh, he said to Crow to Matt suggested that once you got 100 subs, you should make a Twitter account to interact with your viewers. So will you make one? If not, why? Uh, so I've had this conversation with Matt plenty of times. I did say to him when I got my first 100 subscribers, I would try out a Twitter account. Um, but for the fact that, that the reason why I didn't is because I don't use Twitter for my own personal use. So I never thought I'd get into it for uh, YouTube use either. But I'm really thinking about it because it is a good way to interact with viewers. Um, I'll be able to play games with you if you have uh, certain games. Um, and be able to help you set up games that we can play together and all that kind of stuff. So I might make one. If I do make one then it will be in the next month or two. Uh, and it will only be a test period uh, to see if I'll actually do it. If not then... Um, uh, you'll know about it because I won't post for God knows how long. But I will I will end up trying it. I know I will, for a fact, end up trying it. Uh, so the next question is from Trico with a Stick. Trico with a Stick is an awesome name. Uh, can you play Pokemon Generations? It's an indie 3D Pokemon game under development. Uh, I've actually heard about this a lot. I've seen videos from uh, Munching Orange. I've seen videos from a few other Poke YouTubers as well um, about this. And I've kind of uh, prevented from playing it just yet because obviously it's in early alpha you can't do much on it besides like fight a few Pokemon and I kind of want to wait until it's kind of a bit further along and uh, so I can actually do something with it maybe the first town even if it's just the thir first town so uh, first town and first route maybe and uh, I think that'll be uh, 
probably the time when I will play it. But I will play it. 100% will play it because it looks freaking awesome. It's a 3D Pokemon game. You can't go wrong. Um, so the next question is from LKZ Syndicate. And he asks, how much for a bit of sexy time? Well, uh, this is a touchy subject. Because I don't like to say how on YouTube. But... Uh, <laughs> Basically, uh, £7.50 a minute, I charge per minute, yes, uh, I'm an expensive um, person to rent out, but uh, £7.50 per minute, if you pay for the hour, then I will flat rate it at about 200 um, <laughs> but uh, any less than that, then <laughs> you charge, bitch. Um, no, yeah, sex time, not an option. Uh, so, last question, I think, that has been sent in, unless I missed some, if I missed one, then I'm going to cry, but, um, what are your, this is from LKZ Syndicate again, uh, what are my top three Pokemon and bottom three Pokemon? Well, my top three Pokemon is, at the top, uh, going down, is, number one, Ampharos, number two, Gengar, number three, Snorlax, absolutely love Snorlax, awesome Pokemon, and bottom three is, I'll, I'll give you reasons for these ones as well, is Oteria. Basically, I got um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire for Christmas uh, just after they came out. And uh, basically, Altaria was the only Pokemon that stopped me from getting past that goddamn flying gym. It pissed me off so much that I now have a hatred for that Pokemon. And um, I, I think he's a good Pokemon in the sense of strength, but I cannot stand him battling against him. Um, the next uh, Pokemon is Vanillax, uh, purely for the fact that it's an ice cream, uh, and I will have to set a lick of tongue on it at some point, because it pees me off. And the last but not least is Loof Disc. That Pokemon is just retarded in so many different ways, uh, it just bugs me. Why did they think this was a good thing to have for a Pokemon? And, well, if it had an evolution it wouldn't be too bad, but it's the fact that it's not got an evolution, it's a terrible Pokemon, and... It's just evil. It should not be there. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see my next time I actually get out a playthrough, which hopefully will be today or tomorrow. I'm going to use my phone to record again. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time. And peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the 200 subscriber special. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs>